in this video, I will tell you about the layout command in AutoCAD. The layout windows are located right at the bottom, as you can see here. We can click the plus button here to create new layouts. So what will we use these layouts for? Think of it this way. During the printing process, we can print all of our project on a single page as floor 1, floor 2, and so on. This way, you can design your paper layout. You can also bring any layouts here and paste them here and fit them in this window. Here, we can create more than one window. We use the MV command. Using the MV command, I create a new window on my screen and I mark this part on my screen and double click here. Now I can print this part of my project. This way, we can fit different parts into different windows and print our project. As I said, each layout can be designed with different paper layouts. When we right click on layouts, the export to layout model command can be used in order to export our drawing in the DWG format, the same exact image here. We can right click and select rename to rename it and set a new name for it. We can right click and select delete to delete the object. We can also carry it somewhere else. We can use these features as such. Again, another MV feature in layouts is that it allows you to change the internal scale by clicking this arrow. For example, we set it to 1 divided by 30 and we can see that it has been scaled down to 1 divided by 30. For example, we can set it to 1% uh, of its size and we can see how it will look on paper. We can click the Layout tab button located here in order to turn it on or off. You can make them visible by clicking here with a single command. If you don't use any layouts and want to stay on the model, then you can turn it on and off over here. In this video, we told you about the layouts in AutoCAD. We hope to see you in the next video.